Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. Today I am going to do a review of this uh, Bimini I bought on Amazon. This is very, I'm going to show you, I fitted this and I done a recording there earlier where I fitted this. Uh, I'm going to go up the coast along here. Uh, yeah, I have solar panels and two big batteries in this so it can actually go for five and a half hours in this at a slow pace. So I recorded this earlier. I'm going to show you how to how to assemble it. It comes with basic instructions here. Uh, there, uh, this is tree bow. Uh, so, uh, but there's two different ways of of using of putting this on your boat. You can have only one attached to the boat, or you can have bands and fronts on the back, and that means when you fold it, it will fold back down. You can have two posts attached to the boat, and that way, when you fold it, it will be it will be standing up like this. And that's the way I want it because we have a, a trolling motor on the back. This is the boat I built myself a few years ago. Uh, I, it's a sailing boat. It also uh, runs on solar. We have solar panels, and the solar panels will have to be altered now when we put the Bimini on it. What you do is you take everything out of the box, right? So every, these are in pairs, so there's lefts and rights. We will put the males over on this side. So we just uh, click them in. And make sure it clicks in like that. And we will do the other male one here. We'll put the three male, half, half of the bows in. Click, 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 okay. Now they are a little bit wobbly, don't worry about that. And make sure they click in. And, and, and that's, uh, that's the assembly done. And the next job we're going to do is we are going to fit the cover on it. So we will put these over to one side. We will take the cover out of its bag and lie it flat upside down and we will slide these in from both sides. Now we have laid it out flat. Eden is coming over here to give me a hand. Maybe I will need it just to hold them up uh, uh, while we are doing them. But it says front. Now the front is this part here, right? Where, the, where, the, where this one goes into the bow. Where the one where the joint is, this one is the back. E regardless if you use the second one or not. If you take this one off, remove this one, and use the string instead, it's still this back, okay? So the back has the joint on it. So what I'm going to try and do is feed them into it now, and I'm going to get Eden just to hold it here. And we are going to have to uh, wrap it up along it as well, and then do the same from the far side. So we can put that in there and lock that one in at, at the angle then later if we want to. But that's okay. yeah. It's fine, we'll get it back in. It came out here in the middle, it's okay. So this goes up along on it like this. So uh, we're going to do the same again here, but this time I'm going to get Eden to come over there. So now I'm going to feed in the front one here. And I heard a click there. Did you hear that? Yeah. So that's that one done. And that's clicked in. Now maybe I should have done that one last. I am not sure. But I'm going to pull this one over here now like this. Lift it up. Let's see, can I get it in? Is it in? It's... You can put your finger in and you will feel that the button has gone into, into where it's supposed to go. And then you know it's in. You can give it a pull if you want to. No, it won't move anyway. So that's our Bamini assembled. And the next job we have to do is we, we measure the distance from here and then we put the bolts on the boat. So I'm going to measure uh, the part that sticks out, I'm going to measure the outside of that to the inside of that. that that'll be exactly the same as the center. And it's saying 62 inches or 1575, 1575 millimeters. So 62 inches is the number we are going to be doing. We have four pieces like this, 
and we're going to fit them. There goes a bolt in there and it goes thumb screw on the outside. It comes with uh, wood screws. So we have a small problem, which I knew I had before I bought it, was that these are not thick enough to hold the bracket. These uh, nylon, uh, nylon type rubber ones, we knew all along that the holes between them is too wide for the size of the ACA. So we are going to join a piece on and we are all going to bring both of them inwards that will lift up the back of the, of the bimini uh, when we are using the back bracket. You can, we put on these blocks here, I put on, uh, I put on four of them and I put them in the inside. That will lift the bimini up higher uh, and that, that's what I wanted to do rather than uh, make it higher by using the straps. So we, it's going to pull it in a little bit more this way, a little bit in. Now we, I put them in with stainless steel screws and uh, put epoxy as well and I countersink them. And I am going to put in, I'm going to put in these plugs in it, uh, in it later, right? They, these are mahogany plugs. This is not mahogany. I make these plugs myself. The bolt is all been done like that when I was building it. The, but the drill bit is one eight inch, so uh, the, the and the screw will be will be nice and tight at that. So you need to decide whether you're going to put the turn screw on the outside or the turn screw on the inside, and that's the way you put these on because there's a hex on one side, and and the the turn the thumb screw goes on the opposite side. So I'm going to put the thumb screw on the outside. So that means I'm going to put the hex on the inside. So that will be going like that there. <laughs> I seem to get more torque into my, into my uh, screws. So we screw these in, and put one go on the other one, make sure it's nice and straight, and it is. And tighten it down nice and tight. It should be at 90 degrees to this, and then the, it will be straight. And I will proceed to do uh, uh, the other four of them now. I'll put it in like this and I can put the back one on first, yeah, if I do it like that. Hold it in place and I'll go over here do the same. I didn't put any bolts on yet. Yeah, I think you'd be better off bringing it in from the front all right. There it goes, fall down on me. But that's no problem. We'll try and get one in here now. It's so hot here, I have, have no choice I need to put a tent up here because I can't work in this heat. And then we'll put the last one in here. The These nuts are uh, nylon thread in them, so they will not come loose and everything is stainless steel. Now, so as I said, this A part doesn't move, so we tighten these down now, and, and then we can adjust the way, it, we just tighten the, the front ones on, the straps. What we have to do anyway is we have to put in the, the screw in here, in through the eye of this. You see, once, if you leave it like this now, we, this is how you fold it. So it folds and folds like that. And then you put your cover around it. And that's the way you will have it in storage. But uh, when we are going to be out on the sea, we don't want that happening. So we put in our bolt. So it comes with the, a bolt and another screw that goes through here on the nylon of the screw. And when it's flush there, it should be fine. And then we're going to adjust that. We'll put the other one in first. So we're going to have two of these left over. Now these straps are totally uh, adjustable. I decided that the, the, the eye thing wouldn't go over that because it's he too heavy. Plus we use that to tie the boat up sometimes. So no, we'll put these two on up here and they will be uh, 
it will be it will be the same strength okay so and uh, so now and I'm going to loosen these out here both of these and we will pull them in then and then we will tighten them up uh, just like this and you pull them nice and tight uh, then these should be nice and taut, not too taut, maybe I'll give this one another little bit. And, uh, and then this is, look, I'm able to shake my bolt. This is strong. This, this can go at, 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 I think, 40 miles an hour or something like that. Uh, you can go on the boat with this. And I won't be going anywhere near that because I am running this on solar. So I will be doing about four knots or five knots for hours on, on, uh, with the solar panels on it. Yeah, now, now it's, the sun is going down now, it's evening time, so it's going to come down. I've still left the tent there, so uh, we have to uh, put a, 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 later today I will put in a support for the solar panels because they cannot fit. They, they used to be in here before and I've had to move them out. I didn't want to put them. I have other ones that will go inside this to here, but they're not going to get very much sun. I built this, this is a Tris 10 sailing boat. Everything here is for the sailing. That's why you see all the parts in it. The, uh, the Amas on the side, they were all made by a plan in, in 2020. I go sailing sometimes, I'm not very good at it, but I have a sail on it. But we go out on it regularly with the trolling motor in the sea here. Before we go, I put the cover on this when I had it stored there inside, so I'm going to take it off again. It's very easy. And you put the straps like that, and down like that. And then we will pull it up like this. You can bring this in the boat with you if you like. And we just clip them on, and we're ready to go then. Make sure you balance the both sides. The, these two should be the same uh, length. So, we're after going up the coast there. Uh, we've gone up about maybe four kilometers, uh, five kilometers, and uh, uh, no, it went no problem. It took us about 45 minutes. So that's my review of the Bimini, the six foot Bimini. I'll put a link in the description where I bought this. It comes in d many different sizes. This is uh, one of the, almost the smallest one. Uh, it's a six foot only. And uh, it comes in four bows as well as three. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. And if you like this video or any of our other videos, please subscribe.